Everybody, uh, this is Fred Grace. I'm back for your blue pill or your red pill. So I'm gonna dissect uh, some of President Trump's speech at Miramar base where he discusses Mars uh, and a new space force as a branch of the military. <laughs> Greetings, welcome back. Hey, look, uh, this is like a little analysis of uh, Trump's uh, speech at Miramar. So he uh, he said there's a new domain. Uh, it's like the air, land, and the sea. Uh, I'm gonna refer to it as the electromagnetic field that extends extends throughout the universe. So this extends throughout the universe. Space is a war-fighting domain, just like the land, air, and sea. We may even have a space force develop another one. Actually, it goes right through you, it goes right through me, it goes through the Earth, and it goes throughout the entire uh, universe. So, the electromagnetic field, it, it's said that uh, it, it, no, it can recognize life. So we'll just state that. Uh, and then that's where you get um, your aura, your aura and the chakras and all that. So we're not going that way. We're going to stick on the topic here. A new, do a new domain uh, worth fighting for. Mm -hmm. right. We may even have a space force develop another one, Space Force. He, he announced something about a Space Force and a new one. He said something about, an, and when he said a new one, I thought he was saying a new Space Force uh, that's open to the public. Like you could go to the recruiter and, and try and fill out the test and see if you could pass. But apparently he was just saying a new one uh, not referring to the old space program or the secret space program, but to a new branch of service. So maybe I got it uh, a little, uh, maybe I jumped the gun a little bit on that and that's okay. That's okay. It's in, it, insinuations and innu, in, innuendos. And all I did was, uh, I'm already read into the program, so I have so much knowledge about it when speeches come out and he's not following the prompter and he's just ad-libbing, uh, that just leads to... We may even have a space force develop another one. Space force. Ah, oh, that fake news. mentioned something about hyperspeed and uh, being five times the speed of sound. So uh, I'm going to look up how much the speed of sound is and then uh, I'll five times it and then that takes us out to about 11, 12, 13,000 miles an hour and then uh, that I'm, we're going to say that that's the beginning of hyperspace, hyperspeed. So five times the speed of the sound is the beginning. So that, that's where that starts. We have no choice. We've increased investment in hypersonic weapon systems by 50%, and we're accelerating development of hypersonic system that can fly five times the speed of sound. That's pretty quick. So this new domain that needs a space force uh, is, is known as the electromagnetic field. I'm going to refer to it as the EMF and uh, the electromagnetic field. So the electromagnetic field is the fourth state of matter. That, that's how I see it. But actually there's four states of matter. There's gas, liquid, solids, and then uh, the electromagnetic field. Now the implications uh, in the uh, medical field are enormous and they were profound and they are game changers. So. Um, Unless you use the electromagnetic field to heal or to cure, uh, which is kind of 
against the law. I think it's written in the Constitution or it's definitely written in the doctor's Hippocratic Oath that you can't cure patients. You can only treat their symptoms. Now, these are all eye openers. I know you, you probably haven't heard about it, but I've been studying this stuff for far too long. We are finally going to lead again. You see what's happening? You see the rockets going up left and right? You haven't seen that for a long time. Very soon we're going to Mars. We wouldn't have been going to Mars if my opponent won. recognizes that space is a war-fighting domain, just like the land, air, and sea. We may even have a space force develop another one. Space force. We have the Air Force, we have the Space Force. We have the Army, the Navy. You know, I was saying it the other day, because we're doing a tremendous amount of work in space. I said, maybe we need a new force. We'll call it the Space Force. And I was not really serious, and then I said, what a great idea, maybe we'll have to do this. That could happen. That could be the big breaking story. Look at all those people back there. Oh, that fake news. Service members will be vital to ensuring America continues to lead the way into the stars. We're going to lead the way in space. We're way, way behind. And we're catching up fast. So fast that nobody even believes it. And he did say we're going to go to Mars. So we're going to go to Mars. And there's Mars. And I just want to let you know there's, there's ice at the poles. So there's ice at the poles of Mars. There is ice at the poles of Mars. And uh, there's so that that opens up all kinds of opportunities. And then in another speech, I think somebody asked him about Mars and he said something like, oh yeah, have you, you've seen how far we, you know, like there's already a development of civilization there and it's military in nature and um, some of these uh, high-tech uh, um, metamaterial is made there. Now, metamaterial is not on the, the element uh, periodic table because uh, they've only used the gas, liquid, and solids, and the periodic table has nothing to do with the electromagnetic field. So that's where you we're going to come up with all kinds of different uh, uh, elements that um, are harder than diamonds or gases that implode instead of explode. They actually implode and then explode. And that can save a tremendous amount of fuel if you was a needed fuel. So uh, that there in that uh, event, uh, because we have different plasma elements, this uh, um, can uh, can profoundly change the uh, uh, the use of fuel, and uh, so once again, we're talking about an economic uh, like it's it's. I don't want to say free energy because it's not really free. I'm just saying you have to create a lot of electricity to transmutate the elements, and uh, uh, I went to class for that, and so I'm I'm way way ahead of all this stuff on the curve so that's why I like talking about this stuff it excites me so we have hyperspeed and uh, it's so fast that nobody believes it okay and then he did highlight on the fake news so we got fake news so fast that nobody even believes it 
Okay, so uh, the fourth, the electromagnetic field known as the fourth state of matter. The fourth state of matter is the electromagnetic field. It extends throughout the universe. It is universal technology. This is not reversed alien technology. This is uh, universal technology. Let's highlight that one more time. It's universal. The, these ships can travel throughout the universe because there's a fourth state of matter known as the electromagnetic field. And it's in space, it's out in space, but it's also here on Earth as well. Okay, so that's where we get levitation. Uh, we've tapped into this, it creates a lot of phenomenon. And all, once again, this falls under the magic. It's kind of magical. And uh, that's where it loses a lot of people because of uh, their, you know, religion kind of gets in the way on this so and, and people tend to have their views already that like when you grow up and you learn everything all your life it's hard to learn something new because you was told one way and now there's another way the electromagnetic field so the electromagnetic field uh, taps into hyperspeed and we're talking five times of the speed of sound is where it starts and then it goes faster from there so once again, I'm just talking about uh, where I'm going to stick to is I'm going to stick to uh, the U.S. Uh, Space Force and it's, uh, um, um, it, it's spaceships. So, and we know that they have holographic techniques and can make you look like a, make a, a TR-3B or any one of its other vehicles look like a airplane and even sound like an airplane because of the light changing configuration so there's a lot of top secret stuff that always gets leaked out on youtube and the tr3b was upgraded to the new aurora and i got the picture of the new aurora and uh, that one uh, comes at great cost people end up uh, hurt or dead uh, so, so some of this information, uh, it, it all derives from uh, Hillary Clinton's server and uh, her hack. They, they ha it wasn't just one guy, but everybody was hacking that server. And uh, she had very confidential, top secret info on there. And it got out, and then when it gets out, it gets spilt on YouTube. And that's where I see it. And when I see it, I've used my phone and take a picture of it or videotape it uh, on my iPad. So that's why my video quality is a little bit poor and that's why uh, uh, I've pieced all this together for you and me because this is what we got to deal with. You see in the UFOs, uh, another great sighting here just recently, wasn't able to get the location on that, uh, but it's happening anywhere and everywhere. Uh, you can't really see them, they like to hide in the clouds. Uh, and even if they have to lay a blanket of clouds down using the harp, uh, they'll do that. So we, uh, that kind of slips into weather and weather t uh, controlling technology that is all brought to you by the military. The military stated that they wanted to have 100% control over the weather uh, by 2030 or something like that. So moving right along. Uh, I just want to thank you again. I'm looking for a like, a share, a subscribe, uh, uh, and, and just basically a view. Watch this again and again, and let's get me over the hump so my station can grow because I'm kind of lagging behind everybody else's, and I got too much valuable information. I'm trying to put it in, in out here properly, properly, but it's still so fast, nobody believes it. So. I'm gonna let you go, man. This is Fred Gray somehow.